Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, Stradabrell 6 Aquatic Kennels, check it out, this large, well not large, but she's the largest of the young pyros in this aquarium, this 75 gallon aquarium, she's pushing about an inch and a half to almost two inches, but as you can see, she's highly aggressive, and this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Last week I made a video by special request explaining why fish can lose their coloration and markings. And in that video I shared some of my theories why fish lose their markings and some of their coloration. And one of my theories was my stress cichlid theory. And that's a theory that I had for about, i say, for the last five to six years. I noticed that when I kept pyros, for example, or even regular trimex, in community tanks where they were not the aggressor, they was not the dominant cichlid of that tank or the alpha male or matriotic female, that sometimes they would lose their color and even their markings. You know how Trimax, for example, have that nice, right there you see it, that nice, what they call flower on the head and those, those spots down the body. Well, I noticed that when you keep them in environments where they're stressed, they sometimes drop those spots, like these young fish right here. The smaller ones aren't displaying any spots and look, look how she keep them all in the corner. She's, she's very dominant, look at her, she's, she's on them. I'm gonna have to take her out of this tank because she's stressing them out too much and I don't want them I don't want them to lose all their markings to, to the point to where they don't even have markings even as an adult they won't even come back and that's my theory people and that's that's my opinion that's something that I have discovered throughout the years of keeping uh, cichlids and I believe it's to be true some of you guys may have may have noticed that too so I'm making this video just to elaborate on what I was saying in that particular video is that you have to be careful with Trimax and fish like Festes. These particular Antelope species have a habit of dropping off their markings. Now no one knows exactly why as far as the stress is concerned that they be laced to them dropping their markings. I had a theory that maybe because Sometimes they use their markings in the wild to attract fish and they figured that the markings was attracting the dominant fish to zero in on their body. But no one really knows exactly what makes them lose the majority of their markings or even their coloration. But one thing for sure we do know for a fact is due to stress. It's stress related. And I even came to the conclusion that some fish could be stressed out just by keeping and asserting their dominance in the tank. Like this female right here. Even though she looks the best out of all of them and she's the dominant female, she's a little stressed as well. Because she, for some reason, feels that she has to stay on top of these other fish. Which could be stressful just chasing them around all the time stress on the body. I have some pyros in here with just three spots too as well. Because I know that was a that was something that was going on on the internet. Everybody was talking about the spot. The three spot myth was going on. I even have a pyro over here with three spots on one side of the body and pretty much with the exception of the flower on the head, no spots on the other side of the body. 
So those spots vary. That's another fish fact. To be honest with you, finding a Trimax or even a Pyro Trimax or a Trimax in the wild with only three spots is like trying to find a four leaf clover in a, in a batch or a patch full of three leaf clovers. It's not impossible, but it's, it's hard to find. It's rare in some cases. Not to say that Trimax don't have three spots, because I have at least four in here with three spots. But it's not common. It's not as common as finding Trimax with more than three spots like this female right here, or even Trimax with less than three spots. Matter of fact, let's take a look at some clovers, some three leaf clovers, and see if we can find some that are four leaf. on a hunt trying to find a four leaf clover. They're very rare. It seems next to impossible. just like it's very difficult and rare to find just a three spot trimax the majority of trimax cichlids have more than three spots and then some have less than three spots you can find Trimax with less than three spots, more so than a Trimax with three spots. Hence the name Trimax cichlids. There's not a four leaf clover in sight amongst all these clovers. In fact, you almost have a better chance hitting a lotto than finding nine out of 10 Trimax with just three spots. So you see what I mean, aquatic community? It can be sort of difficult sometimes to find Trimax with just three spots. Just like trying to find a fully clover. But we're going to close out this video. And as you can see, I have these two pyros. One male, one female, half brothers over here. Divided. And that's for a reason, people. I do not have to worry about them losing their spots. Due to my stress theory. My sickness stress theory. I have another little young pyro over here in this tank by himself, male, very confident. He's sort of aggressive too. He's, he's about half the size of Capone right now, pushing maybe two inches, beautiful. Sometimes he shows the red in his cheeks and the markings, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But that's my theory. I believe that you, you shouldn't keep certain cichlids, not all, but certain cichlids in community tanks because they can very well lose their markings and their coloration. So leave me some comments at the bottom. Let me know your thoughts on it. And also check me out on Facebook. It's Skip Smith. And you can check me out on Twitter, Real Hard Cichlids. And always, you can check me out on YouTube because I'm making videos consistently now for you guys. So with that said, those were the fish facts. This skip, you know the saying. <laughs>